Hey guys, happy Sunday. Today we are doing a massive pantry clean out and reorganizing, right Ty? Yes. This has been a long time coming, this pantry is driving me crazy. And while the old system worked for a while, we're changing it over to a new system, bright new colors, cleaning out everything. And Taylor's gonna be my assistant for today. So we're ready to go. It's Sunday afternoon, church is over. It was a great service today and we're just ready to go. I got my water. I got my mommy. <laughs> and we're ready to get this thing started. So stick with us. So here I am removing all of the pantry items from the shelves. You can see Taylor down there helping me. We're taking everything out of the pantry so that we can then wipe down all of the shelves and get them ready to go to restock with all of the new organization systems. pantry now this clearly is the color scheme the white and the teal and the gray and black I think it's nice and clean and just a fresh change after four and a half years or four years just a nice change oh yeah this stuff too so um now's the most fun part where I get to try out new bins I'm gonna keep some of the old bins and um, pair it with these new bins and just kind of lay everything out, play around, configure, and put things back, inclusive of going through some of the food items and um, getting rid of those that might be expired. I decided to reorganize the entire pantry based around the spice rack. Since we have so many different kinds of spices and we literally use the spices for every single meal, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I thought it was a good idea to start with the organizing of the spice rack first and then building all of the other systems around that. Hey guys, I'm back. It is the next day and I am back from a full day of work and then a late night meeting, but I'm here to finish off this pantry, hopefully finish, because I need it to be done and we deserve it to be done and we've worked so hard. So with that being said, let's roll up our sleeves and let's get to it. Lost the top for the flower. 
No idea. Story of my life. I just had it. It's got to be here somewhere, right? Let me look around and try and find it. Crazy. Brand new flower jar. Just washed out the cap. No idea where I put it. officially finished pantry is all done so i'm gonna give you the really quick tour because it only took two whole nights and i'm actually exhausted i haven't even eaten dinner yet and i think it's yeah it's almost 11 o'clock at night but i'm so thrilled i'm so happy so i'm gonna give you the whole tour and um just show you how we laid everything out and I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, so here's the brand new pantry. Here's how it looks. I'm so happy and thrilled that it's done. I'm gonna give you um, the quick tour. And so I guess we'll start at the top and go down. So up here, um, I, had, I haven't had a chance to label these, but in these top ones are things that I use less often. So these are dried beans. Here, this is actually a bin of marshmallows. I actually do use these quite a bit, um, but since there were so many, I just left those up top, but I use them for um, my sweet potato casserole and also some other desserts and things that we like to make s'mores and stuff like that. Here is pancake mix. Up here is my box of um, cooking, um, baking supplies. If you guys didn't know, I am actually a cake uh, baker and and a professional cake decorator. So follow me on uh, Sugar Coat Creations on Instagram. Um, so over here we have some um, nuts, pecans, that's a lot for baking. Up here is coconut and dried cranberries. And here are tea bags. Um, I ran out of my string for my label, so I'll have to get more string and actually label those up there as well. But here we have box foods like, like shake and bake in there and some panko breadcrumbs, probably like some Kraft macaroni and cheese or something. And now here, this is new for our pantry. Um, we have a bin for each of us for our own snacks because especially now, Mason and Taylor <laughs> end up like picking up things that are specific to them. Like for example, Taylor loves um, dried mangoes and Mason loves beef jerky. And sometimes um, when they're in like the common pot, people would eat them, um, whoever wanted them would eat them. But if I buy them specially for them or if they buy their own snacks, which they do now too, um, everyone has their own designated bin. Um, as well as me, because I've been trying to um, eat really clean and healthy too. And sometimes I notice that my snacks that I buy special for work are gone also. So that's new for us. So we'll see how that goes. I'm excited about that. Um, here we have pastas and grains. No more beans. That was the old um, label, but it's now rice. So I guess that's grains, but pasta and grains and rice in here. And right next to that, we have the sauces. Um, so you can see there's like some salsa and gravy and um, definitely I will put pasta sauce in there. We cannot keep that in the house at all. My kids love eating pasta. Right here, just crackers and chips. Those are common. We don't eat too many chips, but a lot of times, um, you know, we like to keep tortilla chips on, hands, on hand and things. So there, that's for that. Um, these are like baking and mixing. A lot of times the kids go ahead and make their own um, desserts. Like for example, this, I actually came home. <laughs> I came home today, I'll show you. And Mason had made those cookies. Here we have our sweet condiments and going down right below that savory condiments. So this is great, um, right at eye level for the kids. They can just pick it up and go, you know, syrup every morning and peanut butter and honey and stuff. And then down here, of course, hot sauce front and center, Taylor's absolute favorite. I just put the pickles in there too. Um, and this is like a lot of extra stuff. Clearly I have enough, <laughs> enough barbecue sauce, which is good for me to see. Okay, so here is the spice rack, which I love, love, love. I actually started off, um, when I started organizing, 
I started off by doing it with the spice rack because I know I have so many spices in the front and center. We use them for every single meal, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, so I have to have them all readily available. My spices are all in alphabetical order, which people that know me crack up at, but it really helps me to be able to find them with the exception of this salt and the smoked chili because they're so tall, they go in the back. They're all in order. So you can see we have like the adobo and then the basil and bay leaves, cayenne, celery, chili powder, cilantro, so on and so on, you can see. Okay, so coming down here, and we already showed you the savory condiments, and now we have these brand new mason jars, which I love, and I found the top. Now, <laughs> the way that I um, organize these in order of size is by how I use it, which is probably not how most people use the ingredients. So like the brown sugars here, um, I do use that actually a lot more than the white sugar, but um, since I already had this little container and my mom bought me the little stone that goes in there to help keep the brown sugar moist, um, I just left it in there. And then the white granulated sugar is next. Um, flour is actually after that. Next size would be oatmeal because we eat it every single day. I eat it like there's pretty much not a day that I don't eat it. And I also use it a lot in cooking too. And then the biggest jar is actually um, for my powdered sugar. So like I said, I am a cake baker and um, I make my frosting from scratch. And often when I have large orders, I have to use a lot of powdered sugar. So I hope that this is going to be a lot easier than um, just, you know, buying bags and bags and pouring it in, into separate bags. But so that's why the biggest jars for the powdered sugar. Then over here, I continue with um, my baking supplies. I have my extracts and then my sprays down there for my pans and things. Over here are um, my other supplies like um, corn syrup and baking powder and baking soda. In here, this little guy is an extension of our spice rack. So here are like flavor seasoning packets. I've got like taco and then I think I have onion and probably some ranch. At least ranch will go in there. Um, right here are sasson, goya sasson, and other powders like jello. I use that for baking sometimes. Um, that was just a packet of yeast. And then here are just some extra packets of soy sauce and hot mustard. Sometimes on the rare occasion that we get Chinese takeout, um, they never seem to give us the right condiments. So I just save them as I get them. And now moving down here, here, this is the same spot that I used to keep my other larger jars. And so like oils, I ran out of olive oil and avocado oil, but when I replenish those, I'll get those. Got apple cider vinegar, balsamic vinegar, and then there's just some beef broth in the back. Um, Right here, this empty space is gonna be where I keep the cereals. So I'm gonna um, find the reusable um, the cereal containers like I had when my pantry was in red, but I'll just try to get them in a neutral white this time and I'll just leave them down here. So there's enough space for probably like three of those. The kids eat a lot of cereal too. And here's where I just store my most prized possession, my beautiful KitchenAid mixer that my lovely parents bought for me. Um, I just keep it down there. And then in the back are the big containers of flour and sugar and brown sugar and cornstarch. So all of that is in this container right here. There's a packet of um, baking powder there. And then down here is where I'm keeping the all my canned goods. So again, these are like the savory ones, like the tuna and the beans. Um, and then these I put over here as sweet ones. So I've got like yams and pineapples and cranberry sauce. So that is all how it's organized. This is the cleaner that I use. The Mrs. Myers Clean Day in the Basil Scent. I believe it's brand new for the season. And oh my goodness, it just smells so good. So I tried to use it on everything as I cleaned up. And really quickly, I want you to see um, what we're left with when I cleaned it up. So here are extra containers that I didn't end up using. Um, just keep those on hand because I will probably use them for something for sure. So I'm gonna keep them on hand. Um, maybe the garbage can too. I might put potatoes in there or something. Um, but those are the extra containers. Here is all of the garbage. <laughs> Surprisingly, it was only one bag. Um, but that was all like expired food, which there wasn't that much of and mostly I threw away like um, Containers and things that weren't working anymore and anyway um, wrappers and things like that. So 
that is the garbage. Mason will have to take that out tomorrow. Here are all of the bins that we changed over. So out with the red that we've been rocking with for nearly five years. So thank you guys for spending your time with me and watching my massive pantry clean out. You just feel so much better when you do these things. I mean, I needed to do it for a while and sometimes you just need to change, you know? It's those little things at least that make me feel better um, and it doesn't cost a lot of money at all. All of these pantry supplies were from either the dollar store for a dollar or from Family Dollar um, or f thrifted like Goodwill, maybe Savers, maybe not because um, Savers is even like a little bit too expensive for my budget. But so anyway, you can do all of this on a very small budget. So thank you so much for watching this with me. Um, thank you for allowing me to do it for you. Make sure you check out my cake page on Instagram. It's um, Sugarcoat Creations on Instagram.com. And we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.